Hi guys, welcome to a video, and in today's video, I just wanted to review this the entire manga series of Sailor Moon. <laughs> That's what we're re well, created by Naoko Takuchi, and I have some thoughts. I do. I know that I'm two decades late to fangirling over this series. I know, but I'm here now. Just as a bit of backstory to my fangirling that nobody asked for, I recently watched the latest movie on Netflix without having any prior knowledge about the series at all. And then the lesbians appeared in the movie, and it was like a gay surprise, which is the best kind. So I immediately wanted to know everything everything about this series and the lesbian couple in the series and here we are. Also the first girl that I ever really had like a, a gay spark for, um, she used to draw Sailor Moon characters and yeah I mean she, she did grow up to be queer and maybe her drawing the Sailor Moon characters might have been a, a hint, but that that's that's for another video. Basically, I felt like the universe wanted me to enjoy this series, and, and I am. I admit, before I really researched this series, I did think that it looked kind of vapid and a little bit hyper-feminine almost for my own personal tastes, but I couldn't have been more wrong. This series is actually incredibly intelligent and interesting. The creator has a degree in chemistry and her education and knowledge is embedded in this series and not only that the series has really positive lesbian and queer representation and that just goes to show my preconceived notion of girls manga was completely uncalled for and actually this manga like it, it rocks it really does and it's a feminist piece not just because it's centered around female characters it's that these female characters are all incredibly fleshed out and have a connection to one another, which is what the core of these books are about. Yes, boys and pretty things are a theme in the books, but the books intertwine that with girls finding their inner strength and girls relying on one another. Female friendships, female relationships, and standing up for the greater good. These female characters are a beacon of strength without sacrificing their femininity and that is what makes this series stand out so much because we don't tend to associate femininity with strength and as these books show femininity has nothing to do with weakness you can absolutely be a feminine girl and a hero so these books redefine the feminine in a very powerful way. Anyway, both the manga and the anime of Sailor Moon was incredibly successful. The manga has sold around 35 million copies worldwide, which makes it incredibly significant in terms of female representation, but also in terms of lesbian representation. So the series is essentially about a young girl named Yusagi who meets a talking cat called Luna. And Luna gives Yusagi this brooch, which allows Yusagi to transform into a sailor guardian called Sailor Moon. Yusagi eventually makes friends with other girls who are also guardians and they basically team up to protect the peace not only on planet earth but also in outer space and Yusagi herself goes on quite the journey of character development all throughout the series she very much starts off as this crybaby who doesn't like fighting she hates responsibility and by the end of the series she's become a very powerful leader who is willing to fight and protect the people that she loves the series is not just about kind of space warriors, it's also about connection and love and choice. So what did I like about this series? Well, I don't even know where to start. I mean, it's well written, it's funny, the illustrations are beautiful. Nobody ever makes a big deal about sexuality in the manga, people are just attracted to people. My favourite character in the series is Sailor Mars, I just really love her energy. She also reminds me a little bit of myself, like she has a lot of dyke energy radiating from her. My favourite couple in the series is probably Sailor Moon and Sailor Uranus because they definitely have feelings for each other. They're not a canon couple, although Sailor Uranus does kiss Sailor Moon and Sailor Moon is in her feelings about that and like there's, there's a lot of kind of undertones going on. And my second favourite pairing would probably be Yusagi and Rei. They just have this very antagonistic relationship and I can't help thinking they have have a bit of a crush on each other. They're just my personal favourite ships. I guess canon couples would be Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune because, you know, they are a gorgeous couple. They're probably the best looking couple, I think. 
in the series. So I have no dislikes for this manga series, I really don't. The only thing that makes me slightly uncomfortable is Small Lady. I know she's 900 years old but she's trapped in a child's body and that just, her kind of crush on Mama Chan just made me so uncomfortable. Yeah, too much to unpack there which I don't, I just, whenever that happened I would just kind of try and block out what I was reading and seeing. But I do really like Chibi Yusa as a character, I just, yeah, like she just generally makes me uncomfortable when she has feelings. I know she's 900 years old, like so she's she's fully grown but she's not, she's in that body and I, I can't, no. I much prefer the manga series to the anime. I know the 90s anime in particular is very iconic and it's very pretty and I do really enjoy. I've only seen season one of Sailor Moon but that is probably the best season. It's like very iconic. But yeah, I much prefer the manga in terms of kind of storytelling and character character and yeah I felt way more connected to the manga than the anime. If you are going to watch the anime make sure you watch the subbed Japanese version, do not watch the dubbed American version, it censors so much. Like they turn the lesbian couple into cousins in the American version so... <laughs> So yeah, I'm late to the game, but I'm I'm here now. I'm I'm definitely a huge fan of this series and both children and adults can enjoy this series absolutely. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you've read the manga series, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.